Borada. Good morning, this is Benjamin. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm giving you a short Welsh lesson about a small connecting word, in, in English. In any language that I've come across, this is important because different languages have different ways of conveying in. And when I begin learning a language, I tend to go for these linking words because it says a lot about how a language works, and it's good to get a grip on that first. This book, I mean, this is not light reading, <laughs> but it's it's a good guide, Gramadegi Gamrag, Grammar of the Welsh Language. It's a good guide for getting to grips with everything through the medium of Welsh. This is in Welsh, but it's a comprehensive grammar, which I use quite a bit, and it was introduced to me in my university. Now let's get started about the language and this grammar lesson about the word in in Welsh. Like French, there's not just one word, right, for in. I mean, in French you have dans, un, o, these different ways of conveying it. And Welsh is a bit like that, but a bit not as well. So in this book, this way, in this book, it goes into indefinite and definite articles. Now, I'm from Texas. I never graduated high school, so I don't like using big long words with like multiple sounds in them. So in simple short, shorter speak, unfixed and fixed, indefinite and definite articles, the word the, basically. So the word the is a, uh, right? And the word a, uh, like an and a, uh, we don't have that in Welsh. So that's something I think English speakers get confused because this determines a lot of these smaller connecting words in Welsh and how we use them. So, in a house, moan t. But in the house, an a t. An a t. So that's quite different. And it's because of this fixed and unfixed, indefinite, definite divide between, in English, a uh, and the the specific the, okay? And I think a lot of learners have a big problem with that. So let's look at that in a couple sentences. Roid taro in a kai, thoi. Roid taro in a kai, thoi. There was a bull in the field yesterday. But if it's unspecific, roid taro maun kai, thoi. The bull was in a field yesterday. We don't know which field it was. It's just Rotaruman guy. Rotheni Mount Stavak. I was in a room. I don't tell you which one it is. And also it's in Rostavak. You're in the room. You see how that works? Now, this mound word. It changes into other meanings as well, like into. Imaun e. Marafordi maunir delad vanaku. Marafordi maunir delad vanaku. The way into the building is over yonder. Imauni. Literally, two in a two, or four in a two. It's just the way it is. Now, occasionally you will see Ivaun, but that's less correct. It's used, but it's not correct. You'll see signs that just say Imaun without the later E dot I. Imaun just means the way in. Are you going in? Y'all, are y'all going in? Sometimes you'll see Odi Maun, and this is, I think this is more northern, 
but it's just that it's it's inside, you know. Myothi Maun a car. It's in the car. But it's emphasizing that it's within. Because within is ovaun. Ovaun. But this word is not explicitly within, but it can be within a limit of time. In a year. Ovaun bluithen. You could say ovaun kvungdera gvraith. Within the limits of the law. Ovaun withnos. Within a week. Ovaun withnos. We have a nice idiom in Welsh for saying that someone is inside or indoors. Now, yes, we could say, Marki in a tea. The dog is in the house. But you can also say, Marki dando. The dog literally is under roof. Dando, under roof. Merdigwithiad dando. The event is indoors. Under roof. Oh, how are the Mainbruglaunamo? Because it it rains quite often. Now with this mound as well, we get tea mound. Now tea is more of like a side, a flank. Tea. And you'll hear it in quite a few phrases across the language in different uses. But think of it like the inside of a book flap. Tea. Because tea dollen. Page. A page in a book comes from that. Tidolan. Mm-hmm. And we have Timaun. Timaun. On the inside of. Besi Timaun Hiver. What is inside the book? I thought Timaun. Did he go inside? Oh, it's Adar Timaun Akut. Ois Adar Timanakud are there birds inside the hut? Now notice in that instance you can use Timaun and the definite article a. Uh, because Timaun is a phrase in itself, you can use it in contexts that you wouldn't be able to use Maun with on its own. You can't say Maun a T, but Timaun a T. It's not specifically correct, but you hear it and people use it, so it's fine. Now, there is also the mutations after N, which is a whole another subject, see my video on mutations, but in short, N has mutations after it, which I've made videos about mutations before, see those. However, I'll just mention as briefly as I can here. Un avertawe. There's no change because avertawe, Swansea, begins with an A. Un avertawe. But guir, the peninsula just outside avertawe. Ng guir. Ng guir. Or kerverden, kamarden. Ng herverden. Ng herverden. So, it changes, and that's one that you're just going to have to be aware of. We don't mark our mutations like in Irish, because we expect you to just be able to know them. And learning French has taught me that that's, that's actually a better attitude, because if we try and help you with little rails the whole way, you're never going to just do it yourself. So I think the French, in their attitude to their own language, have a bit of a good idea in some instances. In any case, I hope that short educational lesson about the Welsh language helped you. And if you have any questions about that, let me know down in the comments. And very much a thanks to my Patreons, your contribution is helping to keep the channel going. And we will see you all in the next.